That's a nice ride on that um, starship, I guess. It would be cool if we could use it to fast travel between the areas of the game. But unfortunately, I don't think that is an option. But this is the Gaming Casual, by the way, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. We are finally in Chapter 8, Bowser's Castle. Let's... Uh, this is a Koopa Patrol. They're elite Koopa soldiers. They're the highest ranked guards of Bowser's Castle. Max HP 8, attack power 4, defense power 3. In case you hadn't noticed, they're fitted with spikes, so don't jump on them. When their HP drops low, they'll charge up power for one last ditch attack. Their power of the desperate attack is 10. They've also been known to call in reinforcements when they're in trouble. Don't underestimate these nasty Koopas, Mario. So, hopefully we can make it through this uh, chapter in relatively good time. Although I might have to split up the videos or the set this chapter in a couple videos. We'll see. Otherwise this could be a long chapter. It is kind of like a, a long chapter to get through. When I rehearsed it, it took me kind of a long time. Hopefully now that I know what to do it isn't, but I think it's just a long chapter. And there's a lot of enemies to fight, as you might notice but we should be able to level up quite a bit um to, uh, before we get to bowser hopefully we can get to like level 24 or 25. the uh, max level in this game is 26 so um i think we're almost at that Blah, welcome worm i'm called the guard door of bowser's castle it's my job to keep suspicious types from entering you must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm. You want to get to the right other side of this wall, right? Okay, then. Hehe. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Okay. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then I'll let you go through. The floor. Ha 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 ha. That's what he should have said. But he didn't. Ha 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 ha. You fell for it, worm. You'll never escape from the impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. Ha ha ha, I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. What a what a jerk. Just taunting me. Isn't it bad enough you let me fall? Oh, Mario, you came in li at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is, is who knows where, and we, her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's Horde staff. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now, there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please, at least save our dear Princess Peach. I definitely will. No worries about that. But since you guys have just kind of given up, I guess you guys can rot down here in your cell. There we go, it's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material is weak. They're, these are much easier than the walls of Cooper Bros. Fortress. You're lucky, really lucky you have me in charge. Uh, well, I can't read. Cannot read. I should stop. You'd think that the uh, Bowser would uh, uh, spare no expense to dang it, keep his uh, castle secure and use the best, highest, greatest material he could find. But maybe you, when you're a criminal on the run, it's hard to do that. Because if what Bombad is true, then the Koopa Bros should have built this place. Or maybe the Koopa Bros fortress is just a fortress that was already there that they kind of just inhabited. That would, that would make more sense. Because, I don't know, the Koopa Brothers didn't seem to intelligent to build something that um, well, well constructed but who knows they do have all kinds of castles throughout the land maybe Bowser's like a construction company I don't know maybe they just go around terraforming the mushroom kingdom building castles everywhere I don't know. I mean, Mario's a plumber. I don't know if Bowser necessarily has an occupation other than just evil mastermind. 
but it'd be kind of funny if he was uh, some other kind of trade. I always thought Wario was like an electrician or something. I don't know if that's true. But with his like sh um, electric looking kind of like thunderbolt like mustache, I kind of thought maybe he's an electrician. It would make sense. Which is why, uh, I don't know, do electricians get paid more than plumbers? I feel like they would. But it could all, it might all balance out to be about the same. Depending on the type of plumbing or electricity you're dealing with. Okay, let's stop talking about <laughs> uh, trade jobs. No, trade jobs are pretty good. If you can get one, they're in high demand right now. That's something I wish I would have uh, gone into. Uh, get a good trade job. Good pay. You know, using your brain. It's not like, like a stupid person could not do those jobs. Hey, uh oh, my Mario is right there. Now what we're supposed to do in this situation? Cammy Cooper told us something, but I'm drawing in a total blank. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Uh oh no, do you think that means we have to fight him? No, he'll wipe the floor with us. Stop you belly, your belly aching. Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch. Don't let you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this plumber. Show him what you're made of. Wow, we well, have no choice. Gotta be brave. Gotta be... Attack! Okay, I don't think I've uh, tattled on this Magic Hoopa. So, let's get all the Goombario out. And do just that. And... I'm gonna tattle. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas are the elite magicians of Koopa Clan. Max HP 11, attack power 6, defense power 0. Tread carefully, Mario. Their magical attacks pack a serious punch. They know many nasty spells. We'd better beat them before they can do anything crazy. Alright. The Magic Koopa wasn't too bad. Just about as difficult to beat as any of the other ones. And usually I just jump on him until he dies. And with all my badges, I do pretty good damage. Yeah, we can walk across the lava now. But I'm not gonna walk. I just kind of realized uh, this guy's kind of fast. So let's ride on the cloud. I don't think I've ever used <laughs> Lucky Luster to travel like this before, but now that I realize how fast he is, I think I'm gonna start using him. At least try to. It's unfortunate because you have to get off of him kind of quite or kind of often to jump on this stuff and do things, but hopefully this will make the chapter a little bit faster. Dang it. Didn't mean to do that, I just wanted to jump up here and open this treasure chest. Yeah. Let's keep going back this way. It's a little bit of a backtracking, which sucks. Oh, I thought there was a door down there. But it's to get a badge. It's not really the best badge. It's probably not even a badge I'll use. But, um, for the sake of uh, showing you, I guess, and I'm already here, might as well show you where to go. Hey, what's that? What's in there? Oh, life shroom. I like the life shrooms more than the super shrooms. Since, uh, I think those life shrooms give you the same amount of health as a super shroom, but they're auto-cast, so you don't have to think about um, using them. So it saves your turn from having to use them. You can use up all your life, so you don't have to have, you know, a little bit of life and then use it. Uh, maybe I should have utilized the, uh, that Trace, or Tasty, I think her name is. Her cooking and have her cook me some better meals. I still am not really too familiar at what kind of ingredients go together. But uh, probably should have had her cook me some uh, meals that would be more beneficial. But uh, I don't know. I wish there was like a, a recipe guide in this game. I don't think there is. 
you kind of have to guess. Unless you go on to like a walkthrough. At least I don't know if there's like a recipe book. I mean, we found the cookbook, but we didn't find a recipe book. Okay, let's, let's just keep going and stop talking about recipes. Yeah, it's fast to, to ride on the cloud. Oops. But you have to keep um, jumping off to get up onto things. Maple syrup. Man, Mario's gross. He just likes to drink it. I am not missing too much fire points, but might as well just use it and then get that other one. All right. And we're off. I am a little bit sick, so I do have a bit of a runny nose. Hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue. My throat is starting to get a little bit sore, too. So hopefully all this talking isn't going to agitate it. It is dark in here, so we need Watt. And if I remember right, we cannot um, tattle on these guys until after we... Um, until after we... Uh, get to a spot where we don't need to have Watt in the battle because it's dark if we put um, Goombario out. So we'll have to wait to tattle on those guys. Fly across in the darkness. Hopefully we made it. I think we did. It's hard to tell sometimes. Can we go up here? No, nope, just a power block. I don't really want the pow block, so we'll let that rot down here forever. Hey, it biodegrades pretty quickly, so that's good. Alrighty. Those guys are kind of like, not hard to beat, they're just kind of annoying. Most of the enemies here are just kind of annoying. I'm kind of, I think I'm at a, at a pretty good level to make these guys pretty um, easy to defeat. And have enough badges to make me do enough damage. I think I've probably mentioned that already, but I do like, I guess the guy with no defense, like six damage every time I jump on him. So, uh, that makes killing people a lot faster. My other um, allies don't do nearly as much damage, but what can you do? I kind of wish you could, uh, Attach badges to your allies. I wonder if that's something they add in Thousand Year Door. I think that would be a cool feature. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to wipe my nose. Yeah, if we could uh, attach badges to um, allies. I mean, they could have had their own badge, badge system too. You know, maybe they just have a, a limited amount of badge points, like three, and then you upgrade them to another rank and they get a little bit more. But maybe that would made them too overpowered. Because it would be cool to add like an attack badge on the Goombario to give him more attack power. Because he's actually, considering the fact that you can multi-bonk, if he could do more damage, You'd be pretty um, formidable. Especially against enemies where bouncing is really effective. But I think his uh, his uh, the timing for his uh, multi-bonk is kind of harder to pull off. Um, or maybe I just don't use it very often, so I don't really know the proper timing for all the enemies. Okay, so we have to go down here. I don't know. I have never played a thousand year door. I'm kind of getting burnt out on Mario, or not Mario Party, but uh, I was going to say Paper Mario, getting burnt out on it. So I might not play that right away. I know a lot of people want to see it, but I need to take a break. Otherwise, I will burn myself out on certain genres of games. So the next game I play might not be 
Oh, blah. Huh. You came back, you escaped from that underground jail. But there was no way you could escape. Rawr, of all the dirty tricks. I guess I'd have to keep my word you can go through, but I don't think I'll forget this. You don't have to keep your word, you're not like a good guy. Are you? I mean, you could just lie. That's what any bad people do. Anyways, I was gonna say, um, I might play a different game that's not Legend of Zelda or Mario. Um, but it will be on the GameCube. I'm looking at my options. And, uh... Hopefully, with the choice I do choose, you guys will be pleasantly surprised or angry and unsubscribe. Either way, I'll be playing the game I want to play. And, uh, we'll all have fun. Oh yeah, this is like a toad house. The first time I went through, um, this area, I didn't actually go down here. So, in my rehearsal, I didn't, uh, rehearse this. So... I guess this is the first time I've actually utilized it. I didn't know there was a toad house here. I thought you just kind of had to slog through it. But I guess it would make sense. Let's see what this guy has to say. I came all the way from Dry Dry Desert to Princess Peach's party and look what happens. I've been to some lame parties, but that was ridiculous. I want to go back to the desert as soon as possible. Mari, you're safe. Oh, I'm so glad. We all got captured before we knew what was happening. A few people at the party were able to get away, but they caught most of us. I wonder where Princess Peach and the Minister and all the other guests are. I'm really worried about them. I think they'll be fine. Honestly, you're worried a little too much. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't know why I did that. Uh, Lucky Luster, yeah. Let's get him out. Utilize him for a second. All right. Dang it, can't get up there without doing that. All right, let's go see what's in here. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, like a store. He will sell you stuff, but I don't really need anything from him. So I'm just gonna let him do his thing. And I think this might be a good part, uh, part um, well, this might be a good time to call it. So, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave a comment. This is the Gaming Casual, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.